All right, now it's time to talk about the debut episode of WWEZW. Yeah, EZW. <laughs> Easy Dub. <laughs> on Easy Dub. Easy Dub. Uh, Easy dub. <laughs> uh, before we get into that, let's take a look at what was going on in the Observer around the time. For some reason, in 2006, there's no archived Observer newsletter, so it's all F4W with Brian Alvarez. Gotta love so, Alvarez in 06. <laughs> love that Alvarez in 06. He hated everything, which is tremendous <laughs> to read back. Yeah, back in the day, man, that's what all I wanted to read was hate. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, he's a little fucker. So for those that don't know, just bef- before getting into any of this, ECW, One Night Stand, crazy success. The rise and fall of ECW is really kind of was the catalyst to all of this. Rise and fall of ECW became like the highest selling fucking DVD for them big style ever. I still think it might be to this day, right? As one of the it probably best it might if time. it's not, it's up there still. Yeah, if it, yeah, you're right, Tony. If it's not, it's still up there. Um, yeah. So Rise and Fall of ECW did a lot for that, which kind of got the ball rolling. Uh, I think RVD says that him and like it was his idea, like oh, what if we did One Night Stand or whatever, and he pitches the Vince, and then One Night Stand happens. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's a fucking big success as well. Uh, yada 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 and we fast forward to may 1st 2006 the figure four wrestling newsletter uh as most of you are aware by now WWE will be restarting the ecw brand most likely this summer last week the company began contacting former ecw stars and offering three-year deals more specifically <laughs> one-year de- deals with two-year <laughs> renewal options a lot, a lot of these guys got that for sure like uh these two that were mentioned at press time the only names i've heard are definite are sabu and just incredible oh yeah uh, <laughs> I'd presume paid off for most just incredible of, here on the debut episode. I can't wait. To talk absolutely, about man. Makes him look like a star. <laughs> I presume most of the unsigned big <laughs> names, former stars such as Lance Storm and Chris Jericho have been offered deals as well, which I'm surprised that Jericho has actually mentioned on that. Well, he's offered. going to TNA. <laughs> well, he's, yeah. <laughs> I strongly doubt the lateral sign since friends say he's distanced himself from wrestling and is happy pursuing acting. That's about Chris Jericho and Storm is doing good business with his training school. Seems happy to be doing the occasional independent date. Uh, word broke over the weekend and was the hottest topic of the conversation all day Sunday, then cooled significantly on Monday with WWE laying very low. No official announcement has been made, though the company is starting to book smaller 2,000 seat buildings for shows in July. Uh, we are told the key members of Creator will be Paul Heyman, Tommy Dreamer, and Ed Kosky. Uh, it's interesting because way back in July when Heyman was had replaced Cornette in OVW, some within the company were stating that it was some sort of conspiracy to get him out from day one and eventually turn OVW into the new ECW. Those close to Heyman and Dreamer denied this vigorously, so vigorously, in fact, that it seemed there might be something to it. And now here it is, almost a year, a year later, and those guys in OVW are looking to be profits. So that was, they were kind of, seems like they were fine-tuning Heyman to run this new ECW, and then that also very quickly <laughs> falls apart. <for> <laughs> yeah, <them>. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, the whole, the whole, eh, you know what, the whole process plays out over on this episode, so. You're I'll, right, I'll you can it, see it all. I'll let it fly when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, it appears the mindset is that they can get a bunch of XECW guys that'll work for fairly cheap, and the brand exposure will allow them to not only sell one pay-per-view per year, but tons of merchandise, DVDs, video games, and the like. I wonder if that was ever in the talks to do a just ECW video game. Well, I mean, I'm sure after the rosing fucking rising success of <laughs> SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, they said, we have to do another one. Well, you know, they saw Sandman with the hit him in the head mechanic. That's hit awesome. Yeah. in the head with the chair. That was great. And you can do the Sabu spots. And that was, they were that was like, a oh, Tommy yeah, right. Dreamer mechanic. That's Sandman. <laughs> Sandman did the chair one, didn't he? No, he did. <laughs> okay. But it, always, it was always whenever they showed him. You were playing like, as Tommy Dreamer? <laughs> nah, he was just always against me doing it. I ain't even heard him or nothing yet. He's still hitting his head. <laughs> he started crazy. the match. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. Uh, in other WWE news, WWE and Brock Lesnar settled their lawsuit on Monday. Uh, they were trying to enforce a no-compete clause that would have prohibited him from doing anything involving pro wrestling or MMA through the mid-2010. Basically, he signed the clause when he left WWE and tried to become an NFL star. When that failed, he tried to go back, but then they lowballed him, and he ended up going to New Japan. WWE claimed that that was a contract breach. Uh, his attorneys argued that they couldn't enforce his old deal if they were unwilling to bring him back under the terms of said deal. They claimed he damaged his own. WWE claimed he damaged his own drawing power with the NFL fiasco and his final WrestleMania match in March of '04, and that if he worked in Japan, it would irreparably harm WWE. Is what they said. <laughs> well, you know <laughs> that changed, by the way. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Later on, if you watch any documentary, they say that it took a lot of balls for Brock to go to the NFL. 
And, you know, not a lot of people make it onto the team and not a lot of people <laughs> even make it that far. And, you know, I have a lot of respect for Brock for doing that. You're right. Yeah, you know, you should always try to go for your dreams. You know, you know that's what they say <laughs> Brock's now. a go-getter. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, uh, Brock filed suit in February of 05, asking the court to declare this not a no-compete unenforceable. Both sides have done some stupid things, and in the end, when the settlement deals are sealed, it appears Brock will be able to work for any MMA company in the world and any pro wrestling company outside of the U.S., uh, in parentheses, so no TNA. Uh, which I think we talked about before that Kurt said that Brock had asked him about going to TNA. He wanted five hundred thousand dollars on top, <laughs> like just straight up to go yeah. there, just a signing bonus. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's like you know most of those guys at TNA at the time were making what five hundred dollars a shot, if that. Yeah, I was gonna say they yeah. don't even make. They don't <laughs> yeah. even, AJ, I don't even know if made five hundred thousand over five years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ain't hey, no way, man. Ain't no way. Yeah. Especially when after you hurt your drawing power going to the NFL. Oh, you're right. Irreparably <laughs> That just destroyed Brock Lesnar. I haven't heard of him yeah. since then. Why was yeah. his number yeah. 69? <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever like broke that one down? No. That's know, a good question. His number was legit 69. <laughs> probably because he like fucking Sable. That was yeah, like what a crazy one. guy, man. No one's ever asked him that, like sat him down and asked him, what's the deal with that number, you weird little Everyone's movie? horrified of That's the number I pick in all the video games I'll play him. <laughs> he was in a video game, right? What? Brock, oh, he Madden. was in an NFL game. Yeah, Madden. I think so, right? Right, yes, I believe that's Has right. number 69. <laughs> Madden 06. Is that what it is? Um, yeah, I guess that would make sense. This guy said, I found Brock Lesnar in Madden 06. He made a whole video of that. He said, look, I got the game right here. <laughs> this is a CAW. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, maybe it's not. Maybe they didn't have models for them at the time. I don't think so, yeah. It probably was just um, like a dude. It, they put Brock's name on it, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what they did. Um, that's funny. From the Figure 4 Wrestling uh, Weekly Newsletter from June 5th, 06. In more ECW news, Vince McMahon on WWE.com said, uh, it won't be shot the same way we shoot SmackDown or Raw. It'll have a different feel. It will be Keep this in mind as you go into the show here, everybody. It will be more gritty. All right. There will also be more imagination put into concepts and characters. James, you think, what do you think of that? I, I, uh, imagination there. What was... Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that. He says more. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he has a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> I have a lot to say. So what I what I wanted to say was is that uh, you know I think I've heard Gabe talk about it in in shoots, and I'm pretty sure I've heard Paul talk about it. in Gabe shoots. Sapolsky, right? Yeah, Gabe Sapolsky. Yeah, um, that Paul's vision of first off ECW was dead either way. Paul was pretty much done with ECW, even if even if right. they had money and even if they weren't, he was pretty much done with it because he, he was checked mm -hmm. out. Yeah, he didn't see how he didn't see how the concept exists outside of 2001. Which yeah, is he was pushing right. just incredible. He said this is fucked up. I yeah, he it. said this is it <laughs> for ECW. So it didn't matter if they were making money or not. He was gonna fucking leave. The uh, but his vision for like the next bit would have been like a really work rate. It would have been Ring of Honor. His vision would have been Ring of Honor. Yeah, Paul exactly. Yeah. yeah, it would have been a very work rate centered uh, thing that kind of Gabe took upon himself to help out with. You know, after right. Feinstein started ROH, but right. uh, he, it, you know, it comes to head here because we see Paul Heyman run another f company here, but it's not that at all. It's not. It's not even. And and, and like close. you have to wonder how much he even really pushed for it. Yeah, and I, I, I'm sure he's talked about it since, and maybe, you know, maybe someone else will be able to shed light on it, because I don't, I didn't look, I was only looking back here, but I wonder, like, you know, obviously, Vince just put him in the forefront to, to get people to be like, oh, Heyman, here, get some buzz, right? Because it wasn't... Sure, but he fucking did it. Yeah, that's, sure, yeah. But <laughs> I, I, you know I wonder I mean? how much he actually had control of, you know what I mean? Right. Like. Was he putting his show together and then running it by Vince and Vince was changed, like doing what he wanted after that? Like, or how much was it his show? Well, I, well, there's, you know, there's one thing that, you know, Heyman is very fucking good at and it's getting out of Dodge. So like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the best thing he's very good at. Yeah. Uh, historically, yeah. that'll tell you. Anyways. Yeah. Um, sure. But, you know, I'm sure, you know, Vince had him do this, had him do that or whatever. And he did it. And he always did it because that's, yeah. he would always do it. That's, that's what it would always come down to. Right. But, you know, it always turns back around and he's able to shift that blame to someone else. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, you put a check mark on it, bro. That point, it's, it's probably your fault, too. You know what I mean? It's probably <laughs> your probably, fault, too. Maybe you just take a little I mean, blame here. Yeah, yeah you're I mean, right. You, you could, I mean, there's no work right on this show. 
<laughs> There's we're not. Try- There's no work we, rate. <laughs> we will definitely talk about it. This is 2006. It. Do you know what was going yeah. on in Ring of Honor in 2006? Dude, even TNA. Yeah, TNA was go crazy too. Come on, man. Yeah, come on now. TNA coming uh, off their best year ever. 05 was like their hottest in ring year they ever unbreakable had. Unbreakable 05 was a oh, year shit. before yeah, this. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. According to Paul Heyman, though, uh, Paul Heyman was saying that uh, he would like pitch, he'd like try to talk to Vince about these ideas and then they'd get into screaming matches and Vince would always win that kind of thing. So You want, you want. Just incredible. You want to see a he puke? Should've, <laughs> he should have done the. He should have done the reverse. He'd be like, I, I really want the zombie, and I want the zombie to go over big. I want the zombie. That's yeah, stupid. That'll never work. No, give me CW. Anderson. Yeah, he's got to convince. He's got to convince Vince that it's his idea. That's what Heyman should have done. Yeah, that you're was right. your idea. That's a great idea. Who's he even like doing that? James Gibson guy. Get him here. <laughs> you had him here a long time. What? Ooh. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> That was Robert Gibson you're talking about. <laughs> what was With his match? Yeah, Jay's Gibson and Roger Strong and they fucking tore the house down crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no way we had him hired. Vince also said, but at the same time, uh, speak, uh, there will be more imagination concepts and characters. At the same time, there will need to be a delicate balance because there are three masters to serve. There's the small, mo- vocal ECW audience. Then there's the sci-fi audience that is accustomed to things much more sci-fi. And obviously, you also need to be true to our broader audience in terms of what sports entertainment is today. And then Alvarez says, for those of you who think there's no chance of ECW introducing an alien character or some other sort of sci-fi wackiness, (laughs) think again. (laughs) Vince also said regarding whether Paul Heyman would have a role. Absolutely, but at the end of the day, Mr. McMahon is in charge. Alvarez writes, suffice to say, everyone is pretty much taking bets on how long it will take before Heyman and McMahon duo self-destructs and Heyman finds himself on the outs. Most feel it's inevitable. They were very... They were spot on with all of that, yeah. (laughs) They were on the money on that. I'm just wondering, was there really like a... Like, I I don't know any shit on the sci-fi network, but like, are there people that just turn on the sci-fi channel and just watch it? I... I guess so. Yeah, Dude. I guess pro- you know, want to watch Alien again? No Predator. fucking way anyone <laughs> is in the sci-fi channel only to watch sci-fi. Like, Dude, they love the sci-fi Dude, channel, bro. Sci-fi was rocking hard for a minute. They were doing some really cool shit, you know? And they, they had some yeah, cool yeah. Stuff then they rebranded I, again. I yeah, I don't think the only fucking thing people tune in to see is goddamn aliens on sci-fi. There's got to be <laughs> there's got to be other people are not that black and white. There's nuance, they like scare you know what I mean? tactics, bro. Like, I love how he took it so fucking literal. He's like, "We're on sci-fi. We have to have an alien because people want to see an alien." That, <laughs> cuz I'm on sci-fi. Dude, I I was listening to a Sandman shoot and Sandman said, "Oh, yeah, so I have I have some of that here actually, but Okay, all right, all right, I'll save it. But you but, can if you want to just get into it, that's fine. I mean, you could tell me if this is exactly what you okay, have written sure, down to. Okay, sure. Sandman said there was an alien backstage. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> also, there is options he had. Also, I love, I love that they go, we have to look for the three bits of the audience. Of course, we have to look out for <laughs> the, the small very <laughs> small minority viewer of ECW, which is the show's name and what we're starting it for. And the brand. And we have to look out for the fans of the alien, and we have to look out for the general fucking Raw fan in 2006. The, the, dude, the, the alien lovers were more important than the ECW fans. Dude, in the the very small ECW fans. The oh reason the goodness. One Night Stand was successful is because they pandered to the ECW the aliens. fans. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane uh from the Ugh. june 12th uh figure four weekly uh ecw uh w in ecw news wb announced this week that ecw brand will be running four shows per week starting in late june just uh, alvarez writes just imagine trying to get guys like sandman and balls mahoney to work four days a week and still <laughs> abide by the wellness program <laughs> that's beast uh, uh, on Raw, Charlie Haas hit the ring with a Haas of fire and knocked poor Lillian off the apron. I do, do remember, remember that. that? Yes, <laughs> dude. He, he came in and ran, if hit you, the rope, and then she went flying. That was hysterical. Dude, if you have not seen this clip, it's so it's a, what a fucking shame for this poor girl. But it is insane. Charlie Haas, I'm, I have to. Do you remember this at all, James? No, I don't remember this at all. I'll, I'll it was incredible. Now. It's insane. Uh, he runs. This is like Charlie Haas. Like, here's a, a great quality video of it as well for you, James. <laughs> oh, so, I just saw the Tony thing. I was like, oh, is this it? 
So Charlie Haas, I'll, we'll do a watch log here. Charlie Haas runs down the fucking ring. Oh, I see that. What the fuck? Runs down the ring, gets in the ring, bumps her off the fucking apron, and then does the stand hands and talk, goes, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the Haas of fire? Yeah, that's what he, Alvarez calls it, of course. Oh, wow. Charlie Haas was not too concerned about that, though. I, I vividly remember laughing forever about him <laughs> doing that and then going, yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, figure four weekly, June 19th, uh, 2006 and more ECW news. If you think it's bad enough when matches only get announced on WWE.com, get this FBI versus Masato Tanaka and Tajiri and super crazy versus FBI were both announced on the back of the ECW shirt on shop zones website. The funny thing is that after word got out that those matches had been announced on the shirt, the link was pulled from shop zone. I guess they didn't want the matches announced anywhere prior to the pay-per-view on Sunday. I can't make this stuff up. It's also funny that they pulled the link because two undercard matches that should have already been announced anyway got out. <laughs> they, they were pulling shirts because of that matches. The That's fuck? Weird. Yeah, on? that is weird. I don't know. That's super fucking weird. Uh, Axel Rotten is fired. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He no showed Raw on Monday, and it was something like his fourth no show. No. <laughs> He wrote on his MySpace, what do you people want from me? I'm fine. I'm at my house. <laughs> I've been all here right. all week. All is well. If you want to reach me and have my number, feel free to call. By the way, I do have the right to be left alone for a while. As far as wrestling, no comment. So, what do you want from me? To show up at the show I'm booked at? <laughs> Fuck you guys, man. I'm four weeks in a row, you want me to show up? I'm at home. Leave me alone. Call me if you want. <laughs> all right. All right, to round it out here, uh, we have uh, from the Figure Four Weekly, June 26, 2006, in ECW News. Many of the ECW guys have privately stated that they're miserable, and others have have been having flash flashbacks to the WCW invasion and the alliance. The reality of what this version of ECW is has started to dawn on them. Heyman was not pleased with the first show. Tommy Dreamer hated it. Uh, Salmon, in a chat on his website, said he didn't know about ECW coming back until Tommy Dreamer called him in April. He claimed uh, minutes at what show? <laughs> <laughs> he also issued four weeks in a row. Uh, and then, okay, to round it out here, quite the incident at the TNA show at the ECW Arena on June 9th. This is unfucking believable. The main event, after several teases, ended up being Team 3D versus AMW and the James Gang in a four on two handicap match. They brawled all over the place. Then Bubba called for the fans to throw chairs into the ring with the idea to re recreate the ECW spot where the ring ended up being filled with chairs, a spot which aired on the TV opening for years for ECW. Well, they recreated it. Chairs were flying everywhere. One hit Bubba. The fans then were told to stop but kept throwing chairs. Finally, BG James grabbed the mic and told the crowd they had a great finish planned, but now the fans weren't going to see it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the road dog said this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know his ass is lying. <laughs> we had a great finish. What, you shake, rattle, and roll? You gonna do that? Man? Shake, rattle, and roll. Fuck, finish. I'm gonna fuck you in the I ass. I want to see his ass. <laughs> and you don't get to see that now. <laughs> fuck you. That you is were, insane. You were a lion. Yeah, we had a great finish. <laughs> we had a great finish, but we're not gonna do it now. <laughs> fuck out of here, man. That is insane. What, they leave after the chairs? He said that on the mic and yeah, then Yeah, I left? think they just stopped the show. That's yeah, yeah, awesome. it was just over. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Well, there you go. That was going on. That was, that's that TNA. was TNA awesome. was on at the that's time. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, now it's time to talk about the first episode of WWE ECW. ECW on sci-fi. Which we don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> the little fans. <laughs> the little minority fans. <laughs> vocal minority all right so we get into the actual show here uh we kick it off with the world is watching <laughs> the world is watching <laughs> well this is for the sports entertainment fans of course and of course, the, yeah, the sci-fi fan, fans too not, well. don't forget about them <laughs> don't forget the aliens <laughs> of course if you guys like aliens you're gonna love this show so we start off with a cold open here uh for some reason no aliens in the cold open but we did get <laughs> <laughs> Rob Van Dam winning the WWE Championship at ECW One Night Stand 06 against John Cena. Yes. They, yeah, they recap One Night Stand. Uh, they do the let the bodies hit the floor intro with the recap of the pay-per-view. Sabu killing Ray through a table, which is still insane. Uh, Foley doing a bump through fire. 
Then Cena and RVD, which you can, you know, you can do in 2K23 coming out March 14th. Oh my. <laughs> March 17th. I don't want to do that. I want to play as a little alien. <laughs> you can probably create him. Create a CAW. Yeah, you can make a little alien. They probably got a little WWE custom head. WWE champion alien. <laughs> yeah, universe? Yeah, universe mode yeah, WWE the alien. CW reboot. <laughs> <laughs> the right way, alien. <laughs> I was supposed to be a zombie. I drafted a giant baby. <laughs> I drafted my universe mode, but it's all alien sci-fi stuff. <laughs> well, there's a lot of fans. It's more than ECW, I'll tell you that. They show, uh, you're right. They show the thing where Edge spears Cena through a table. Why was Edge wearing bike helmet and long coat anyway? This is, oh, was that so there was explained? this really cool Rick Root angle we did a long time ago. Uh, do it again. Yeah, that makes I, sense. I guarantee Fair that's enough. what it was. Yeah, right? probably. probably yeah. Right. Well, uh, RVD gets the pin with Paul Heyman counting the pinfall. Somehow that was legal. Uh, and it was so legal that Paul Heyman in a voiceover says that the decision stands and RVD is the WWE champion. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know why he gets to decide that. They show a recap from Raw the night before this episode where Cena saying he had an awakening. And then he had such an awakening that in the main event, or at least, I don't know, maybe it wasn't the main event, he's fighting Edge on the show. And he has such an awakening that he decides he has to beat up Just Incredible in the front row. Fuck you, man. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, Just Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. He beats up Justin Credible and Balls Mahoney and says that he is going to show up on ECW tomorrow night. Justin is he's going to take you to that next level. You know what? I'm going to say, me too. <laughs> <laughs> How about we both do it? How about everybody takes it out on Justin Credible? Fuck here? this guy, man. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you killed ECW. <laughs> At least that's how it feels. Impact, he's nuts. Yeah, really. Play with these balls in your butt. So, uh, bodies at the floor intro. Let the bodies at the floor. This is hot. I like this a lot. This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kurt Angle yelling at the part where he yells. I like that. Kurt Angle yelling, uh, and they don't have any footage of Justin Credible, despite him being in the company for many years. Fuck he was in idiot. WWE for many years. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hell, buddy. <laughs> You're not coming they back. Sh they use shots of him from ECW. They do, uh, yes. Which is, you know. He was way cooler in ECW than he was with X Factor, but you know, you think they they got something for him, dude. There, it was no? it, it, it's being on this show. It's like being on the yeah. step above. You're not a step above. <laughs> you gotta go back. Yeah, you get back down there, you bitch. <laughs> That's what John Cena and Kurt Angle said. <laughs> See how Buck says that eventually too. So uh, Paul Heyman Town Hall. Uh, this show literally could not have started any other way. This is exactly how it should yeah. have started. And it, it uses the OG ECW music here too. Um, yeah, and we yeah, you're right. It goes by to the floor and then uses the OG ECW music. I'm not sure how long that lasts, but they do here. I was gonna, now that I think about it, was that just because Heyman was coming yeah, out? Yeah, was, was Heyman's, Heyman's theme, theme song? song. Yeah, that's Heyman's theme uh, song. Okay, you know that, that makes a lot make more, more sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, a guy like me, I probably would start the show the match, but uh, I guess we could do it in ring. <laughs> no, we gotta do a 15 minute Paul Heyman town hall. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with a bunch of raw guys. <laughs> yeah, listen, yeah, listen, listen. You got all those sci-fi fans want to see the promo, so you gotta. They love talking. You love talking hey, and where the fuck is storytelling. <laughs> you imagine one guy sitting there. Where the fuck is the alien? <laughs> Who is this guy the with US? the head? Where the fuck is the alien? <laughs> Do you want to know the U.S. Sci-Fi Channel schedule for June 2006? Yes, what was I the lead into this? It. What was the lead? Yeah. Do you know the lead into this? Uh, it was by aliens this exposed. Was, let me see. Okay, ECW. All right, just before this was a movie called Immortal, and okay. then after Immortal? this was Hellraiser, <laughs> Hellraiser 8. <laughs> oh, shit! You know they were popping. Uh, they also, at the time, were showing things like... Uh, the Odyssey four hour mini movie part one and two. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, let's see. Arabian Nights part one and two. Doctor Who, Twilight Zone, uh, Buck Rogers in the 25th Century. Nice. That was a series. Good. Okay. The X Files, Stargate, oh, of uh, Knight Rider. Um, yeah. So, you know, uh, a lot of, a lot of premium crazy. broadcasts, you know. Yeah. I mean, this was all. They should have gotten us. People we could have done universe mode for them. <laughs> <laughs> people weren't tuning in. Look, at 1 a.m. on June 17th, they showed Jeepers Creepers 2. Oh, that's a good one. I like Jeepers. That's the bus yeah, one. Alien Apocalypse. That is the bus one. Attack of the Sabertooth. All right. Uh, these are all... I mean, P James, I think you're wrong. People were tuning in to watch this. Yeah, I mean... Quantum Leap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Doctor <laughs> Who was really popular. Yeah. <laughs> The Twilight Zone episode 403. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I tuned in uh, 400 episodes in. 
This just started to get good. <laughs> <laughs> it's one piece. The week after this, uh, before ECW came on, was House of the Dead, and then after ECW was Scarecrow Slayer. All right, that's oh, okay. probably badass as fuck. I bet that's crazy. That and aliens, then the week though. after, where are the aliens? Yeah, X Files, X Files, uh, X Files, well, maybe. Yeah. yeah, that's true. The week before, the week after that, uh, Glass Trap, the movie was on before ECW, and then after ECW was John Carpenter's Body Bags. Ooh, John oh, Carpenter, John probably Carpenter. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, probably pretty good. There you go. So you know, Sci Fi was rocking. They, they, yeah, Vince wanted to cater to these guys. They haven't, so. they haven't got to the Sharknado part yet, though. Sharknado is not for a, few, a minute. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they, they. I mean, if they would have made it back then, probably would have been a crazy good lead-in for them. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah, just looking back on it. Uh, but we have Paul Heyman. 2020, here. James. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Uh, Paul Heyman, Town Hall, uh, Joey Styles, and Taz are on commentary. Ball licking. Yeah, big style. <laughs> yeah, crazy. This honestly, honestly, I'll be, I'll be real with you. A lot of this felt like uh, Vince. Starting back ECW to rib them. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was just a. It felt fucking like tell them to shut up. Yeah, it felt like the. It felt like they started this to rib them and make them lick their balls on an ECW product. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. right. Talk about. I want to hear Joey Styles talk about superstars. Yeah, like it definitely felt like a, a like a ball licking program. Well, they were trying to make it a little different, James. Because do you do you remember what they they didn't, they weren't superstars, of course. Do you remember what the ECW guys were called? Fuck, what were they? They're, they're the Tribe of Extreme, and then they were business the... and the... <laughs> close. <laughs> yeah. They were the ECW Rebels, of course. That's uh, what they were referred to as the Rebels. They were also the yeah. uh, New Breed Unleashed. I don't know if you heard that in commentary. They never mentioned it. A they, New Breed Unleashed. They only yes. mentioned it five hundred times, and that was fed to Joey Styles' headset for sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, so Heyman introduces Rob Van Dam, who is the new WWE champion. Heyman is, by the way, the uh, introduced as the representative of ECW. Not for what the hell longer. does that mean? Yeah, what is? That? But like, is uh, he's the Booker? What he's is like that? the general manager, right? I guess he's the John he Cena of ECW. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, we'll have Johnson come up in just a few minutes. He also will beat up just incredible. <laughs> so RVD comes out and he says, Hey, I'm the champion. Whoa. <laughs> and I hope John Cena does show up because he is excited to face me again. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. I'm the new champion. And was by the way, <laughs> check out his spins. Whoa. Whoa. Was RVD not easy? For some reason, I, I had a memory of RVD already being easy to be champion. In no, OG he was ECW. not. Was he? I think I thought of that because either his figure came with the ECW title, or I gave him the ECW title on my fig fed. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. He was gonna. Yeah, probably, I, I mean, I think he was gonna yeah. win it, but he never did because the company closed. Or yeah, whatever, I, I so, imagine yeah. he was gonna beat Mike Awesome for it. Well, here's the deal: Paul Heyman uh, introduces Rob Van Dam with the new ECW World Title. Yes, um, it looks hard. He gives it to him. It's not the real one. It is a uh, two millimeter plate straight off of Pakistan eBay. It looks like trash. <laughs> Compared to the fucking WWE title he's holding, yeah, that shit oh looks my like a toy. <laughs> and, and Vince said, yeah, it does. It is a toy. This whole it's company shit. is a shitty little toy. Bring <laughs> up the zombie. <laughs> where was the original title, James? Uh, where? What shit? Did it get burned by Rhino? I think... I think Ry well, Rhino has it, right? He, I don't know if he, he got burned, burned yet, it. though, but it probably is soon. <laughs> he destroyed. He burned the TV one, I know for sure. Was it the World yeah. War II? He, he destroyed that? I well, imagine he had both, right? Yeah, he should have brought the ECW World title, and then Just Incredible should have come out and said, That's mine! That's <laughs> mine! <laughs> and then he beats him up. Uh, yeah, he kicked the shit out of him. And all the other guys yeah. come and kick the shit out of him, too, you fucking piece of shit. So, yeah, Heyman gives him a blatant fucking replica ECW garbage. title. It looks fucking super weird, like very red too like I, it was like just it just felt weird i don't know it wasn't good uh yeah i actually wrote down here i said i wish rvd would have taken uh both of these titles and thrown them on the fucking ground <laughs> <laughs> that would have been cool as hell yeah fuck these titles uh so anyways uh john john cena is going to come out here um but of course rvd says first that he wants to keep both of the titles because the wwe title spins yeah, well, look at this. Spin. I'm gonna keep this one. He gets booed. Uh, yeah, they, the fans are chanting, "Throw the belt." <laughs> they don't want him to have that shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they do I, boo when he says, "I'm gonna keep this one." Look at it spins. Boo. I bet. You, I guarantee you that they, that was pitched at some point to like yeah. do the franchise joint. Yeah, and like that's what they should have fucking did. It would have been gonna, awesome. If you're gonna start a goddamn war and you're invading each other's shows and you're doing shit, why the fuck would Rob Van Dam 
even want to keep this shitty title. Fuck this well, thing. Well, because he's cool and look at a cool belt. Yeah, Whoa. like, dude, what the fuck? Isn't yeah, beating on, John Cena enough? Like, it, like we beat John Cena at ECW. You know, now we have the WWE title here. You shouldn't have let me fucking take it. And now I'm going to fucking throw it down because that's ECW. That's just what they yeah, did. Yeah, that's what ECW right, would have yeah, done. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Heyman especially would have did it. Yeah, He's Heyman would have pissed on it. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. Let me fucking slap my balls they, on that one. <laughs> they could have just regretted the Shane Douglas moment. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were Tony. All right, anyways. So Edge and Lita come out here first. God bless Lita. Why doesn't 2K put this outfit in the game? Except they, instead of those six years there's of the so, same one they've there's been There's so many questions I have for that. <laughs> we're not going to get into those. Uh, so, of course, I wrote down here um, that we're starting the new ECW with a goddamn talking segment. I can't believe this. With a guy that's not in ECW. Yeah. So Edge says him and RVD are going to tear the house down at the next pay-per-view. This was very weird. He says, we got a lot in common. We both won money in the bank, both cashed in. We both broke the glass ceiling because of our ability, and it's going to be an honor to tear the house down at Vengeance with you. And RVD believes him and shakes his hand, but he struggles to what, do so because he has so many belts on. What a dumbass idiot. Like, I swear He's to God, stupid. this was a rib. This was just a rib. Vince said, yeah, yeah go out there and look like a dumbass, you big dumbass. I guess he always kind of thought that of, of RVD as like the like airheaded fucking guy because yeah. he just wanted him to say cool and awesome and whatever and all the time. So he didn't really think much of RVD as a human being character. Well, uh, neither does Edge because Edge shakes his hand <laughs> and then spears him. <laughs> My God. God, how could you do this? He, Joey says, I can't that- believe Edge would do that. <laughs> Dude, he, uh, Joey says, that's disrespectful. That's WWE is what that is. What? <laughs> all right. So Edge, talking about? Edge does the RVD taunt. Um, and, <laughs> awesome. Of course, the new double champion getting fucking beat up in the opener Edge segment. Edge looks cool of the, as hell here. Show. RVD yeah. looks like a chump. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to get rid of the WWE title, dude. I like this title. I think the WWE is pretty good. We're going to fucking invade the brawl, though, dude. <laughs> Easy dub. Easy dub. You guys are already, we're already getting off of one foot wrong. Easy dub. So Edge and Lita then leave through the crowd, but holy shit, it's John Cena. Did people? So is are they? It's just Raw loud here. We're just letting Raw come here, like all the time. uh, This is an invasion. (laughs) It's an invasion for them to fight. (laughs) Well, even worse, James Heyman invited Edge and Lita. I think they say that. Yeah, Edge and Lita were invited, and John Cena said on Raw he's gonna show up. So there, okay. Yes. That's how they make sense so of it. So Cena is invading, but Edge and Lita were invited. They were they, in, they were invited win. to attack the champion. That's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, so Cena they shows our... up in the crowd. Did the crowd not realize it was Cena? I don't know. If I feel the like crowd nobody reacts. Were there. They didn't react yeah, at all fair. to anything the yeah. entire yeah. night. Yeah. Um, Lita looks. Lita doesn't even react. Lita looks at John Cena like three <laughs> times and like doesn't <laughs> connect two and two that that's John Cena. <laughs> You're just right. a guy in He's just standing there. I think the crowd was shocked because they wanted to see a wrestling match and they got a 15 minute promo. <laughs> they showed him an ECW show and got raw. They said, oh, shit. I, where's the aliens? I wanted to watch Ring of Honor. What is this? Dude, Tony, I bet you that's what it was, man. I bet you it was like, it was like here's all the real small ECW fans. They all showed up. The, to the nothing, ECW. nobody ECW fans. That don't matter. Paul even sitting in a ring while already gets his ass kicked by Edge and John Cena and Alita, the fucking raw ball lickers that everyone's fucking tired of. And like, that's unbelievable, man. And then even like the sci fi fans that were in the crowd were like, where the fuck are the aliens? And they didn't get the aliens either. So there were a lot of unhappy people. Don't worry, they get, they get something later, Tony. <laughs> they were in the crowd, too. <laughs> where the fuck are the aliens? No aliens. I like the sci the sci-fi fans showing up live is crazy. They're, they're waiting <laughs> they didn't for the watch aliens. It on TV. <laughs> sci fi fans went to the fucking thing and saw it. That was awesome. This is just raw. This is raw. This is all it is. This the is just raw. Wanted, it's raw yeah. on a smaller scale. The sci fi yeah. fans just wanted to be on sci-fi <laughs> good for them because they were <laughs> yeah. uh, cena is now brawling with edge in the crowd to of course start the new ecw uh, of course RVD is laid out rvd has been speared <laughs> through the ring rvd has, is now the third party in this john cena edge fight they're literally pushing rvd out of the way he's the dumb he's two champions <laughs> That also that becomes pretty appropriate for how this ends for RVD as well, too. So. Oh, and of course you thought maybe RVD would get his heat back after getting speared by Edge. No, Edge just low blows him and leaves. <laughs> yeah. Edge bumps RVD into Cena. Cena drops, then Edge gets Edge low blows RVD, then leaves. 
And then Cena does not care about RVD or what happened at the pay-per-view or continuing to fight with RVD. He chases after Edge and punches Paul Heyman in the head. <laughs> and then, of course, all the stars are here. <laughs> the, you know, the ECW rebels of the FBI and Stevie Richards and Tommy Dreamer in a Tommy Dreamer shirt. And Paul's Mahoney are here. Al, check out Al, Paul Heyman. Not Al, RVD. Al, Is Al there? Al Snow's Jay, in the back. Jay White. Yeah. Oh, my. It, it did look like Jay White. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my god, I couldn't believe this was the start to ECW. Dude, uh, like, this is every fucking backstage ECW segment. Is all them in a little circle? EC fucking <laughs> EC w e -C <laughs> We're gonna invade Monday Night Raw, and then Sandman somewhere just yelling all drunk and slurring. Dude, that I didn't even think of the scope of that. Is that the first return ECW show? The first segment ends with Paul Heyman and RVD being laid out. <laughs> Dude, not even to mention that if John Cena does all this and he doesn't give a shit about the WWE title that he lost. He doesn't hold it up. He doesn't even fight for the he title. Leaves he doesn't fight for, for the, the title of the pay per view either. He doesn't. So it's no, he what doesn't. The You're fuck right. Is uh, so backstage, Paul Heyman is rallying the troops. <laughs> how dare Edge ruin our celebration? <laughs> and how dare John Cena screw with ECW like this? We're going to show up on Monday Night Raw that show them uh, about ECW. <laughs> All right. Dude, this is so fucking. I don't Why don't know, you maybe, go beat them up now? Maybe 20 years ago, like this was like. You know, I you know I can't really. It was cooler for I, I sure. Did, back I then. didn't really fucking fuck with this shit at all. I was kind of yeah. out, so I don't know if like people were like super drinking the Kool Aid still, but like you know, I was. It has aged like fucking milk. Yeah. No, this yeah, is so it was horrible. This it is was, so stupid. It was definitely cool when they were. It's like its own show. When it, it was like a WWE thing, but it was still like not with Raw or SmackDown. It was still kind of cool. Like okay, this is sort of ECW is, and then like yeah, invasion stuff was always fun, even if it you know even like the worst like people running in on other shows was fun mm -hmm. to watch is at least then it was, i can understand uh, that i can understand yeah that. except the back yeah, yeah. looking so, back like, at this backstage segment with like six people chanting ecw and we're gonna go this is so like, cheesy. monday night raw is just yeah. so stupid yeah. yeah and it's stevie richards and fucking <laughs> tommy dreamer they're gonna invade raw <laughs> yeah. all they wanted these guys all they wanted was like ECW to be the wrestling show. They just wanted like shit to be the wrestling show, and they said no fucking way, no fucking way. <laughs> We're, it, it, we absolutely cannot be that show. No. What the fuck, man? Anyways, it's a zombie time. It was like Vince's <laughs> like, sci-fi time, baby. So this, uh, this is like Vince's plan to like we're gonna use these old guys to make the new breed unleashed. That was the whole in the grand scope of things. I think. Yeah. Vince wanted what turns an NXT to be. What? This yeah, is. exactly. So he just you know got a fucked up way of getting there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Well, one of the most infamous parts of the show, uh, one that probably most people at least remember or they've seen at some point, it is time for the debut of Zombie. This is probably the only thing people remember from this. Ah, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the fact that this was the first episode, like, the zombie has, has surpassed this a million times over. He's actually the most over part of the show. They should have kept the zombie. They should have. I this, mean, I mean if, with how it goes, why if, not? If, if the show was going to suck fucking balls big style, just keep the, <laughs> just keep the zombie. I mean, yeah, I mean really, me, come as in. a sci-fi fan, I was, I was so excited. <laughs> Dirty, let him know. <laughs> Dude, so, uh, so the zombie guy comes out, right? And uh, right. he has this loud organ music, and I'm glad his music is really loud because the crowd does not react at all. Okay, first off, Tony, <laughs> I was very confused. I was looking at my other monitor as it came to this part and i thought hollywood rock was here <laughs> this <laughs> sounded like hollywood yeah, rock yeah, yeah, it yeah. does yeah you're I right was, like i look I, I thought it was hollywood rock and i turn around and it's a zombie i said what the hell is yeah, going a, on a bell rings and justin roberts says introducing the zombie everyone is confused taz on commentary and says what is this a rib brother is this a rib <laughs> he yes. does just flat out with a rib right here dude yes it is i spent a lot of time at ecw i don't remember the zombie is ugly looking sob <laughs> i said like, what the fuck <laughs> uh so apparently this was supposed to be an alien okay so now we can talk about that now right <laughs> yes <laughs> all right so uh according to the sandman uh in a couple interviews here so sandman in a chat on his website said first he didn't know ecw was coming back until dreamer called him in april he claimed the zombie was originally supposed to be a martian and then an indian chief <laughs> uh alvarez the indian says, chief I do know would have really hit it home i think <laughs> 
<laughs> for the sci-fi and then fans. They hired Tatanka back, and it just didn't work out. Dude, Tatanka uh, was in the fuck was in the ECW versus WWE yeah. one. Oh, you remember the very oh, beginning? Oh, that's right. Tatanka was right that's beside Mick Foley. He's in the fuck. He's in the fuck. You're right. Tatanka, and they wanted Tatanka. He probably was supposed to be on this. They wanted Tatanka. They got Tatanka. Damn, they got Tatanka, man. Alvarez says, I do know there was a plan to use an alien, but sci-fi wasn't down with an alien being beat up on their network. You got to protect your guys. And like, that's really what put sci-fi over the top. You know, <laughs> you know <laughs> they protected their guys. That's, that's really, really what made me keep coming back to watch the Twilight Zone episode 300 because they really yeah. protected their IPs over there. Sandman also said he talked to Raven and Raven had no interest in coming to ECW. Not sure if WWE made him an offer, but I know they made offers to both Rhino and Spike Dudley and both turned down offers and did angles turning down the offers at TNA house shows. Was that tampering? In another inter- tampering with their contracts? I don't know if they were actually with the signed. Alien. Wow. <laughs> Tampering with the uh, the the outworldly beings. Stop, That's leave the mean. aliens contract alone, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're in a goddamn war here. Alright? We're in a goddamn war. <laughs> we got contracts alone. Versus raw. They will not we got the pick zombie, a side alien. We got the zombie and the alien. Do not pick fuck side. with their contracts, you fucking piece of shit. Dude, sci-fi protecting their characters better than easy to be protected their own guys is unbelievable. Because Alien's fucking over as fuck, all right? <laughs> That's true, you're they right. They got a whole network out of it. ECW can't even stay on air <laughs> fucking for more than four years. In another interview, Sandman said the first choice before deciding on the zombie was an alien, and the second choice was a cook of some sort to spoof the food network. I like that, I like that. You got the alien, the zombie, you got Gordon Ramsay, and maybe the that Indian was chief. Be Indian, <laughs> maybe it was supposed to be Indian chef. Is what that was supposed to oh, be. yeah. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, that would have been awesome. Yeah, it could have been, it could have been Tony. You're right. <laughs> I like that stable. The zombie, the they're probably be all, way more over than just incredible. The alien, the zombie, it should have been the, a stable. The, <laughs> that's the new breed. <laughs> the zombie, the alien, and Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> it's a new breed of and, human. And the <laughs> Literal new breed. That's why I always used, I always used to tell my mom. That's why I'm watching sci-fi. Like, why are you watching sci-fi now? I was like, I'm watching it for the alien, the zombie, the Indian chief, and the chef. <laughs> and the chef. Food network. Yeah, I hate the food you. network. <laughs> Did sci-fi have heat with the food network? Was that like the opposing brand? I, I like I like that. I like that. Barry, the opposing network. They got wrestling more than Vince McMahon did. Sci-fi really yeah. sci-fi should have just started their own company. Fuck WWE. They yeah, just really. done their own shit. Yeah, fuck ECW and fuck the Food Network. Emperor Lagasse, these nuts. Dude, I, 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 I guarantee fucking T whatever sci fi put on TV would have been better than this fucking show. They could have had yeah. the zombie, the alien, the chief, and Jeff. And the, fuck, it was like, what Both of them. The tag team. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got the sci-fi six like we're really cooking right now like, yeah. come on. <laughs> with Rob Van Dam whoa it spins well Justin Credible is not on this show I'll tell you that much oh, oh damn yeah, that's true sorry about that man that's the bummer. Oh, ECW, ECW, ECW's guy. He was Guy Fieri or something. I don't know what's going on over there. Tony, what uh, what promo does the zombie? Oh, the zombie gets in the ring. Does the promo? I got a here. word for word written down here. Yeah, please. I wrote let the us promo because in case I know James doesn't like writing promos down, but uh, don't yeah, don't miss any part of it. So he comes out and he goes, uh, and he pauses and he goes, uh, and he looks again and he goes, uh. <laughs> Yeah, he was spitting. I, I, at this point, I was like, damn, he is talking. Hold on, hold on. He does change it up. He does, watch out, James. Then he's he shooting on the Food world. Network, which I could not believe, and he goes, uh. <laughs> he that part got me, too. As well, Tony. Yeah, he yeah, goes, uh. And then he, he points at the hard cam as well, and he goes, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, Emma Lagasse, you bitch. <laughs> Rachel Ray, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Now that would have been sick. And the zombie said, oh, Fuck you, Rachel Ray, you son of a bitch. Oh, Martha oh. Stewart sucked these nuts. Oh. <laughs> Sci fi these nuts. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Cross the line. Cross the line. <laughs> He draws a line in the sand. <laughs> Cross it, I dare you. Oh. Oh, dude, dude. Oh. <laughs> dude, so listen to this, man. I can't believe this shit. So zombie in 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 ECW, 
the zombie has to grab the mic and cut a promo because even in WWE, a fucking zombie has to cut a promo. This is unfucking believable. It's a shoot zombie. This is not like no one played it up like, oh, this is a guy. He was dusty. This is a real zombie. He was, he was, he was a stinky little guy. He was dusty, bro. Stinky little... <laughs> that was a dusty finish. Uh, oh, dusty knuckles. <laughs> No way. No way. <laughs> so, uh, of course, Sandman comes out. Enter <laughs> Sandman, right? <laughs> no, enter <laughs> Sandman. There's, Tony, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's no fucking way they were ever <laughs> going to license, license <laughs> that song. For one, this fucking show, and two, for this guy that's not going to be hired here for more than a year and a half. That's true. So, Sandman comes out. The crowd is very confused because they were promised an alien. And not only that, they didn't get it. They got a zombie <laughs> and a Sandman, and they're also very confused. Sandman, yeah, he's he's doing his entrance uh it's, and nobody's guess, reacting. Sandman Am style. I losing my mind here? No one is reacting. No, to no this. one really. Well, it's all. There's a lot of. This is just a WWE show, so there's like a lot of families and shit here. There's not really ECW fans here. There's just a bunch of families here that wanted to watch SmackDown. Yeah, and you're they're right. here for fucking ECW. And Sandman's here, and he's drinking beer at the top of the fucking nosebleeds, bleeding all over people, spitting beer on people's fucking children. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess part of the the appeal for that was like everybody was drinking and in, in ECW, and like they just wanted to sing the song. Yeah. There's no lyrics. This is just a guy. So no lyrics. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. no lyrics. The coolest part they of Sandman They couldn't have gave the guy lyrics or nothing? They couldn't Dude, have come up with like a lyrics for this? Motorhead did a cover of Sandman. Why couldn't why couldn't they do it? Why couldn't they use the Motorhead uh, version? You, I'm not giving him him. Well, I got an answer no. for you. Uh, <laughs> Lemmy. <laughs> Lemmy, brother, is not for you. Uh, <laughs> Lemmy is for Lemmy's me. my friend. Uh, <laughs> Imagine that actually Fuck he you. actually pitched it like Triple H had to agree. Nah, man. Uh, yeah, can I use Motorhead? No. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> yeah, on that show, we're gonna turn you into the ECW ball again. <laughs> <laughs> so this was never gonna work. This, this, no. This, what are we? Fit twenty minutes in. Tw- twenty minutes in. Oh, yes, twenty minutes that's in. All right. Yeah. This was never going to work. This whole show this is, is the never first gonna match work. on the show. Yeah, this is the first match they ever show on ECW. This is never going to fucking work. This is the first match in ECW this history. Show, <laughs> they they should have put this match in the dirt. They should have put the show in the dirt right there. They should have cut yeah, the fucking feed right. to the show and just done it all <laughs> if, dark match style and just caught if, it a day. If this is your first time watching The Sandman, you're probably very confused as well. Here's a guy that looks like The Sandman. He's smashing beer over his head. He's got a cane. He also has a tattoo of himself on his arm and also has (laughs) his face on his shirt. He has three pictures of himself. (laughs) And he's just coming in from the crowd. And and Joey Styles is talking about him beating up a prison uh, guard and getting uh, arrested for longer. What the hell is going on here? He was in solitary confinement. Did he say that? Was that true? That's what they said. Six months. In solitary confinement for punching that was, they were game. actually hyping up monsters balls. <laughs> they were doing this was there. this <laughs> had no chance, not even a little bit. I don't think it had no. anything even close to resembling a chance of working. Sandman does his whole shtick, including busting himself open and almost falling off the barricade twice. Twice. <laughs> he almost fell down the stairs on the way fucking down to the ring. Sandman gets in the ring, the bell rings, he brains the zombie with the kendo <laughs> stick. He then gets on his knees and beats the fuck out of the zombie. <laughs> White, white Russian. He does a white Russian leg sweep on the zombie and then slips on the mat. Dude, it's the gnarliest white Russian leg sweep I think he's ever hit. He, like, I feel like I, I thought he was gonna get c- concussed with the guy, and also then a bunch of fucking dust flies off <laughs> the zombie when he hits the mat because he is a shoot zombie. He's a stinky little. Yeah, they should have kept pushing the zombie. zombie. You guys fucking. You're right. Zombie. The zombie I was agree. like money for me. If I'm sci-fi, sci-fi I'm taking you off the network for burying the zombie. Fuck you, man. Yeah, I'm putting the zombie over, and he's teaming with the alien. Why didn't the zombie just beat Sandman? Who the fuck cares? Everybody else in the show got their <laughs> ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Sandman was ever like a fucking. You we know have, what I mean? Sandman always listen, won because of some bullshit. The, Sandman, <laughs> we're protecting the Sandman. Well, you should have protected him by not having a match. Sandman is well, he still, wins. yeah, of course Sandman wins because he's got his big push coming up for this big WWE run. Of course. Who is he facing WWE? He's got a wrestle. I mean, he's uh, the one Sandman thing that I remember is him being a part of the who is Vince McMahon's son thing. Oh, yeah. And he stayed in the ring for longer thing, than yeah. he was supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I, I don't really know. He probably wrestles uh, Big Dick the Cog Johnson. I think he does I a thing with him. Oh, he has a program with Mike uh, Knox, I think. He does stuff with oh, Mike Knox. Oh, because he wanted Kelly Kelly or Dude, he was helping go, Kelly Kelly. We can go through his whole goddamn ECW run. Oh, you got it? Right here. Yeah. Okay, let me hear it. Yeah, all right. So 
He starts off 2006 style. Um, bunch of dude, bunch of dueling cane matches with just incredible. I mean, uh, in WWE in, in ECW. Oh, sorry. WWE okay. ECW. house shows, house yeah, shows. Okay, they were sure, doing house sure, sure. shows. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so sure. Sandman beats the zombie on ECW on Sci-Fi number one. The Sandman okay. beats Macho Libre on ECW on Sci-Fi number two. <laughs> 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 it was just savage. That's episode. just Macho GX. <laughs> so, oh, you know who that was? Macho Libre was Tony DeVito of DeBaldi's. Oh, great. Well, he's not working here no more. No, so he's out of here. Now it's time for the house show loop of dueling cane matches with Just Incredible. <laughs> uh, we get back. He hasn't been on TV for four weeks now. Uh, and then he loses to Mike Knox in two minutes. Uh, okay. Then he loses to Mike Knox, or he beats Mike Knox by DQ. Okay. Now he's teaming against Mike Knox with Tommy Dreamer and Test. I think we, did we see that one? I feel like we did see that. I feel like we saw that one. Yeah. I'll show Luke. Mike Knox and the Sandman. We go back to another two on one handicap. Mike Knox and Tess versus the Sandman. Oh, we no. Got, got the house show loop with Mike Knox and the Sandman. And we got Test. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Dude, for the rest of his career, it's just Mike Knox and Tess. That's Test. Mike What's Knox. his last WWE match? He actually has. He Okay, first off, he has a match with Big Show, seven minutes. ECW That's, World we Title saw that. match. We watched we that. We watched that. Yeah. We watched that. Um, and it was. On Patreon. Yeah, interesting. My, Matt Stryker starts getting into the mix here. Of course, we got to start doing Matt Stryker. New breed, the, right? That's him the, and like Elijah Burke and all that. December them. pay-per-view, of course. Yes. Uh, Sandman and Matt Stryker, Singapore Kane on a pole. Right. Indeed. So uh, <laughs> they had Sandman go overseas in Scotland and face Matt Stryker that's, in a Singapore Kane match. That's impressive that he was even allowed to go over there. Sandman had a fucking... He went on a loop and... Italy or something in Scotland. <laughs> I don't know what, what they're the doing fuck? over there. Okay. Um, how should loop begin? Davari and the Great Kali versus Sandman and Tommy Dreamer. Oh, <laughs> what my. the fuck? Uh, they had base Greg, or I'm sorry, base George Murdoch. Okay. Um, which of course is Brodus Clay. Um, on how show loops, it was Rob Van Dam. Sandman. It was Rob Van Dam and the Sandman versus George Murdoch, which is Brodus Clay, Kevin Thorne, and Mike Knox. Uh, and then huh. he pretty much just he pretty much just loses the rest of his career. He gets drafted to really? Raw at one point. I remember Sam he does. gets drafted to Raw. But does he wrestle? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he uh... he has a battle royale. Oh, he had two battle royales. But yeah, he had a couple of matches. He faced Carlito once. He did a Singapore Wait, King match with Carlito too. On now, Raw. Now let me ask you this: Carlito and the Sandman, William Regal and the Sandman, Sandman and Carlito again. All of them are DQ. Does he just cane them? All of them? I think he probably does. For three weeks in a row? <laughs> he probably does, Whoa, holy yeah. Shit. This sounds crazy. Right. Carlito and William Regal versus Jim Duggan and the Sandman on Raw. Oh. <laughs> wow. Singapore Kane on a pole. They did this twice. This was at the Great American Bash. Five minutes they versus did... Carlito. Carlito and Sandman had a pay-per-view match? Singapore Kane on a pole. Let's see what Great the, American see what Bash the... 2007. What? What do the inmates rate this? It's probably pretty high. Yeah, right? Uh, they Okay, here we go. We got they two. Didn't. He said, all right, this was random as hell. This match isn't good and is a pure burial of someone who's supposed to be a badass. Uh, this guy said, this was an awful match. It was a boring match to put Carlito over a veteran baby face. The fans were dead because they knew nothing interesting was going to happen until they got to the <laughs> There was a heel finish with no cane shots to pop the crap. Dude, Holy shit. there was no cane shots? What? It was a That's heel finish. That's WCW style, baby. It was a heel finish with no cane shots. That's just the same thing WCW did. What the hell? So what's his last WWE match? Yeah, Sandman versus Santino, Monday Night Raw. DQ, what, he hit Santino with a cane, too? I don't know. He won that match by DQ. So, Santino, somebody, what? somebody <laughs> probably interfered, I'm guessing. Oh, maybe. It was probably Umanga. Um, This was, uh, was it August or September? September 10th, 2007 was his last match. So, he lasts a year. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. He probably goes through his year so contract he, and then that's He goes through his year and they do not renew. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Wow, okay. So they did the ECW scratch transition, which was cool for this. Yeah, and that's uh, cool. they go to a pre tape where it shows Jerry Lawler at one night stand. They dude, they they fucking yeah, they they uh Jerry Lawler and Taz at one night stand and they they leave in the crowd chanting you suck dick <laughs> like right at the That's beginning. Awesome. <laughs> I said what the holy shit, I couldn't believe that. Yeah, Lawler goes over the commentary, slaps the absolute dog shit out of Joey Styles. Dude, and, Joey Styles almost dies here. He almost knocks the set he over falls into or he does. and then he like falls the fence falls over and I think he was gonna yeah. fall off the stage, but 
Man, that was scary. <laughs> Lawler probably really fucked him up. <laughs> he on probably a really did. Probably gave him yeah. a good one. Uh, yeah. Lawler gets in his face, punches him, gets in the ring to have a match, of course, with Taz in pants and it's shirts. Taz. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's... Couldn't put the singlet on one more time? Nah, 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 not for the All right, bro. Well, Joey Styles jumps on Lawler. Uh, Lawler then throws him off, and of course, this turns him around, and he goes for the pile driver. <laughs> With Taz behind him, by the way. Just he, Lawler is not concerned about Taz anymore. Yeah, Taz also, by the way, waits for Joey to get in pile driver position before he does it. <laughs> he, he was considering, maybe I should let him pile drive this little idiot. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then he gets the Kata Hajime and the three count. No, that's a Taz mission, bro. Oh, sorry about that, you. man. You're right. It, it, it is in w, if it's in WWE, if it's, it's in pants mission. and shirt, it's <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mission. I agree. It's, three count is right. He does lift the arm three times, and he wins. Well, now we get the, the defining is... moment <laughs> of, of Justin Credible's run here in WWE. So now we listen. get <laughs> yeah, like there's. I understand, bro. As an I as an ECW guy. I get it. <laughs> Listen, not everyone bought into the Just Incredible shit. They did not like Just okay, Incredible. Let's make, they didn't make think it he should have been champion. Johnny, that nobody bought into this. No one in ECW no bought one. into this back no. when it was no happening. Fans. No, 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 no. No one did. But he, at the very least, was an original, was ECW world champion, and was there till the end. So he at least had some cred that he was an OG and... There probably were some ECW fans that might have wanted to see him. A very small amount, though, <laughs> because there's only a very small amount of ECW fans. It's That's, a part of a part of a part. I want to make course. sure you understand that. The very small yes. amount. Um, Vocal minority of ECW fans. But Just Incredible is here, and he's facing Kurt Angle, who everyone is a fan of. So Just Incredible, ECW OG, ECW World Champion. Sh probably should get his ass whooped. No way. But, no way. Come but. On. No way. Well, because it's Kurt Angle. He's, Kurt Angle should kill everybody. But was Kurt Angle but on ECW just champion? Incredible. Was he? No, I didn't he think just, so. He, he was not. He was not. He actually walked out of ECW. <laughs> yeah. Because well, he cause couldn't offended. handle Just Incredible. That's right. Paul he Heyman walked JC. out of ECW after he gave the title to Just Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's also true. <laughs> So I anticipated that this was not going to go favorably for Justin Incredible, but I at least thought that maybe former ECW champion. Justin I definitely Kurt thought, like thought it was going to be 80-20. I legit thought it was going to be 80-20. At least he would hit the super kick. I, I, I thought yeah. maybe he even set up for that's incredible. Oh, sure. My. I would say, sure. That one I even I, I thought he was going to set up for it, you know, like angle yeah, and almost, his neck. Yeah, yeah. Slide through for the ankle, yeah. uh, ankle lock. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Sure. Um, That's not Kurt, Kurt, you love this Kurt Angle ECW theme, dude. This is, dude, holy shit! Kurt Angle, <laughs> goat WWE theme song here. Beast fucking look with the shirt and the fucking mouthpiece and the and the necklace. Like yeah. this guy's what a yeah. And he says yeah every fucking minute he, he does any time like, on yeah, TV. Yeah, you're right. This is like the sweetest shit ever. I almost wish, and now I really enjoyed TNA Kurt, but I wish like he would have kept a little bit more of this. Uh, in intensity. Intensity, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, some integrity. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of intelligence little, as well. Just a little bit, Tony. Yeah, that, a little would, bit. that would be sick. That would be good. Um, <laughs> no, I agree. He, I mean, he kind of does, but it it definitely isn't the same. After, like, I feel like very quickly after the Joe TNA stuff, mm -hmm. he turns into just a good guy. Yeah, right. Um, and this was it's pretty interesting take on Kurt. Um, you know what it probably was, James? It probably was he hated this and was actually angry. Yeah, actually pissed off. <laughs> he was what? pissed off that he was wrestling in ECW. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> the intensity was real hatred for Justin Incredible. You know what's crazy is, you know, Kurt talked about this before. He didn't really mind wrestling in front of less people. He just didn't want to make yeah. less money. And right. they, and he's like, well, you know, we'll get you back on the on the pay per views and all that shit. And we know you'll be you'll make the same money, but you'll make less on the loops. But right. like. You know, Kurt didn't want to take less money on the loops. You know, he's like, "Why? Well, I want, I want he? the same money on the loops. I want the, I want the same money on the pay per views." You know, especially I mean? if I'm the name that you're getting the people to tune into the show for. Yeah, which you know, and that ends up with him. And of course, you know, then he has problems, and he needs to take time off. We, he well, we it. review, of course, Kurt Angle's last ECW show as well. Yeah, and we talk about all this. Um, yeah. yeah. We, so if you want to hear more about that, there you uh, can listen to that. Um, but he ends up going to TNA and, but th this was a very, uh, interesting time. This was probably the most interested I've been in Kurt Angle in a very, very long time. Um, like, I think like, this is like a very, you don't cool... like him with Davari. 
Yeah, I'm like, this is like, this is cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is cool. Uh, but TNA Kurt is, I probably take TNA Kurt like most of the time. Like, yeah, of course. Time, well, really. you did more, you know, but like. Um, Kurt, right, Kurt but Angle, he... beard, little hair, uh, rose <laughs> on the singlet. You were going to watch somebody die in real time. Like, yeah, I always thought that was based. Uh, that's like, a fucked up guy. <laughs> yeah, that's like a different kind of shark. Like, <laughs> they were cooking stacker, stacker uh, logo in the center oh, of the ring. You were going to die. Yeah. Not the you were stacker gonna logo. Die. Yeah, 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 yeah right. that shit was crazy, man. Uh, so, Kurt Angle is here. And, of course, Kurt Angle made Randy Orton tap on the last pay-per-view, One Night Stand. Yes. Uh, and the crowd chanted pussy at Randy Orton. <laughs> And a kid punched him during his entrance. Don't forget all this is like <laughs> this is like or, or Orton's about to get like real reprimanded by skyrocketed. WWE. They're about, yeah, yeah but, they, but he kept fucking up, so they were gonna reprimand yeah, him big style. Right. And he couldn't stop fucking shit up. He couldn't stop hanging out with Mark Jindrak and saying balls and dick. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Triple, I can't believe that. Triple H said, Your push is over. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Mark Jindrak almost blew it for him. At least that's that, what WWE said. That's the story. The story is that yeah. Mark Jindrak almost ruined Randy Orton's career, which... Yeah, what? Well, fucking come on. It wasn't Mark, Randy Orton doing it to himself. No, it was fucking Mark Jindrak. Look, Mark Jindrak <laughs> was base as hell, man. I, are you telling me the erection of perfection could have got pushed big style? That guy was ready for the push. How did you not like that guy? Yeah, come on. Flair, you didn't like this guy? Yeah. He was made for you. Y'all are tripping, man. Yeah, if Triple H... He's and, a WCW guy. Come on. Triple H and Flair weren't there. Randy Orton and Mark Jindrak would have had a lot of fun in the Natural Born Thrillers. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Orton was made for the natural born thrillers, actually. Dude, dude, I could I like I can legit see it. I can legit yes. see it all the time. Um so just incredible. He's here. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> Just Incredible. You know He's in an ECF and W shirt, bro. This is an e this is an OG. You know, just incredible in ECW, you know, he was a world champion and, and for whatever it was worth, he looked good. The guy had abs, he was he was chiseled, he was, he was, he was pushed. Too. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. he was pushed and he was treated well. Um, yes. he was not treated well at WWE. Group. Um, no. he had every bit of his body covered, like down to like ankle. He had like shin guards on, like compression mm -hmm. yes. pants, shirt. You know, it looked the yes. the shorts look weird with the compression pants. It doesn't make sense, really. It doesn't. Yeah, it looks bad. Kurt was just not happy with this guy, <laughs> and, and uh, Kurt knew he had to go six with him. Yeah, so. <laughs> They called the match, and Kurt said, you don't, you don't get nothing this match, I don't think. Dude, Kurt immediately double-legs him and dumps him on his fucking head. Then he starts jabroniing him wrestling style, just cross-facing him and put him in holds. All the while, Taz is trying to put Justin Credible, Credible over as like a legitimate, easy-to-be star. They should have not Credible, Kurt Angle slaps the back of his bald head repeatedly. <laughs> Yeah, this is fucked up. Yeah, Kurt throws him on his head with a German suplex. He belly to belly him over the top rope. <laughs> Just Incredible's got nothing, by the way. No way. Just Incredible gets back in. He gets single legged again, dumped again, mounted, slaps him on his bald head, cross faced, hammer locked. Dude, slaps okay. his bald head some more. The, fi the five <laughs> minutes in hammer lock was so was so disrespectful. It turned into a shoot. <laughs> Dude, it was fucking crazy. Just Incredible gets up and pushes him. He says, what the fuck, bro? Kurt Angle headbutts him. And then Kurt Angle defeats him with his submission hold, Tony. Which is... The reverse choke? I don't know. <laughs> the, the fucking rear naked choke. Yeah. Dude, at one which point... Which is legal. What? I felt what? like Credible was like, trying to, like, come on, bro. And he shoves... Kurt Angle, like Credible does, and then Angle just yeah. get chest up, you know, all Shoots strong, on and then just fucking headbutts him. That was awesome. Headbutts him and then cho shoot chokes him Dude, out. That just was Credible fucking taps. incredible. That was just incredible. Yeah, like you, yeah, like you said, James. They are. I guess it's because they're trying to get over that chokes are legal here in ECW, and that they're not legal in WWE. I, I must have missed that. Yeah, I've never moment. seen a rear naked choke in WWE broken up because it's not legal. Were people? When was that a rule? I don't. Uh, right then. I don't. Yeah, now, yeah, <laughs> these are ECW yeah. and WB rules, and they are different. Joey says Randy challenged Kurt to a match at Vengeance with a WWE ref and WWE rules because the choke is illegal. Okay. All right. But Kurt Angle just does the ankle lock. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know if you do this, but Kurt Angle has <laughs> he does the Many, ankle lock. What he has the a fuck? main submission that he can do. Yeah, he has uh, the ankle lock and the Olympic slam that he's, he's won many, many titles with. Hey, I'm going to challenge The Rock where he can't use the Stone Cold Stunner. 
And <laughs> that, that would suck. Yeah, yeah that would they, suck. Well, how so is he bad. ever going to do? What's he going to do? Yeah, how is he ever going to? Yeah, wait? you're right. Wow. Yeah, the rear naked choke puts away just incredible. Uh, just incredible. I don't legitimately. I don't think hit one move in the match. You know? I don't. Think Did so. he even punch him? He, he shoves pushed. Kurt Angle. That's it. I think he shoves him. That's yeah. it. That's all. He, yeah, that's all. Now he, he, he hammer oh. he hammer locked in five minutes in the match. That that, that was that's, and slapped him around on the back of his bald ass so, head. Dude, they, dude, then he kicked him at the end of the match. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> made him roll out to cut the promo. <laughs> He's a good in the back. I got a promo. You're right. <laughs> Kurt, <laughs> Kurt is. Uh, he. I mean, look. That's always going to be something that you're going to have when you have you get the stars and they got to come down to do work. The sure. shit is not that. They're you are going to get some heat. It's just what it yeah. is. And uh, just incredible. Wrong place. Wrong time. Uh, yeah. It was very funny. It just it's just crazy how like you know ECW is back. And then all the ECW guys get their asses beat except the Sandman. Yeah, that's crazy. And the Sandman faced the zombie. He should have beat. I mean, the zombie <laughs> should have kicked out. <laughs> Kurt Angle should have. You're right. That would have been awesome. Oh, my God. Dude, the Sandman pinned the zombie. The zombie should have put Sandman in a rear naked choke. <laughs> it's, it's legal here. Ring, or I was about to say Ring of Honor. <laughs> I wish, <laughs> dude. I was thinking was about to be. thinking about Sandman. They probably didn't want Credible to have the kendo because Credible doesn't bring the kendo out because Sandman just had it. They both can't have That's, the kendo. Uh, exactly. So that yeah, fucked no, up. Of course you not. know, Credible's whole thing don't was give the just kendo. Incredible anything. Hey, don't and worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just Incredible wrestle CM Punk. You remember he's got that match coming up and oh, you know, he loses. There too. Hey, but yeah. but don't worry. I got I got a scoop for you. Did you know that uh, oh. that uh, <laughs> CM Punk cried? CM Punk fucked his wife. CM Punk <laughs> probably too, yes. Ball style. CM Punk cried after his match with Just Incredible. Let me tell you, Just Incredible. Cried, uh, he, is that right? Yeah, Just Incredible says, uh, "This is uh, Just Incredible." Just Incredible. Just Incredible said, said this. He said, just, "Listen, listen. Just, just, it was a great <laughs> match for TV for his debut, especially. He was super cool. I remember. And you, and this is not an exaggeration. My wife was there. She could attest to it as well. I so bet she was. I bet she <laughs> was." He came up to me and he was literally in tears thanking me on how well it went. He was so grateful for the opportunity. And I said, brother, it's your ball now. God bless you. Do good with it. So just incredible well, made nice. CM Just Punk. incredible nice. passed the he torch. He passed the torch. The, the Punk and his wife. And his wife. <laughs> uh, CM Punk Dude, what are the odds? What are the CM odds Punk you think, was crying. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe CM Punk yeah. fucked his wife and his wife. Okay, that's what I'm asking. What are the odds of CM Punk having sex with his wife? <laughs> 100%. <laughs> it's right. Okay. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. He but, definitely yeah, fucked his wife. Right. But I just want to, you, you were talking so bad about Just Incredible. I just want to let you know he made CM Punk. We were talking bad. We were talking real. That's how it is and how it was. He made CM Punk. I would have loved Justin Credible to get some offense here. Justin Credible made CM Punk, and CM Punk cried about it, and it was... And CM Punk had sex with his wife in return. Well, and thank had you, a, Justin Credible. And had a better career. And Justin Credible passed the ball and said, you know, you do with and it. His you wife. do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and his wife. CM Punk was fucking everybody's wife, to be fair. Yeah, exactly. It was just a cool thing you to were do. Just, you were just another statistic, Justin. Yeah, it was fine. Right. Yeah. It was fine. Look, CM Punk is nuts. You understand me? <laughs> That's just how he was. Things were different back then. And he could wrestle 60 minutes of fucking go crazy. Basically, just incredible. You got to get the fuck out of here. Because CM Punk is yeah, taking over. Go. This, is the, go. this is the real man. You don't know about this. CM Punk, please fuck my Justin wife. Credible, done. All right. The real has arrived. You have fucked up now. This guy, CM Punk, he's taking this shit over, man. You're kidding, man. You're done. By the way, that CM Punk match was his last match in ECW, by the way. That was it. He's gone after yeah, that? Yeah, he okay, didn't have anything else after Yeah, well, that's, that sounds about right. He passed the torch. What else <laughs> is there right. to do? <laughs> yeah, the what, is, uh, what does Kurt say here, James? Uh, oh, Kurt Angle says that, you know, he's going to make Orton tap at the pay-per-view because he's the face of the new ECW. None of that matters. What really matters is that after he says that, the mic comes down off his face and he goes, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. That's holy shit already. All right, cool. I couldn't believe it, man. I that might have been the first one. Um, you're right. It, it actually might have been, or you know, maybe he did one on the other one too. Sure, the, yeah. Uh, Raw versus ECW, or whatever. But um, Kurt, I love Kurt Angle's yes at this point because they were super undefined. A as he went on, they got like real visceral, but like guttural. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But at this point, Kurt's still figured out. I like this though. I like him. Young, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. cool. So we go backstage. Paul Heyman says. You want extreme. <laughs> uh, you want to feel extreme. <laughs> uh, what? Paul Heyman says, everything I've had planned for this show is out the window. 
I what did you have planned? For what? No, you, for what? Why is it out the window? <laughs> yeah, what? What? And who got bumped for this? Because John Cena is it everybody is in the main event. Oh, everything's out the window. John Cena punched me. He says this as well, Tony. I'm gonna take ten of ECW's best, and they're gonna go out for an extreme battle royal. Keep in mind, ten of ECW's best are in this fucking there, match. There are two, two of the best in there. All weapons are legal, and the winner of the battle royal is gonna face John Cena at Vengeance. And then they're going to join me on Monday when ECW goes to Monday Night Raw. All right, Dan, I hope it's Al Snow that wins. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not too far off there, Al. Al. Uh, all right, so Kelly is going to show us all of her assets. So uh, just before that, Joey and Taz are on commentary, and Taz says, oh, my God, Joey, all weapons are legal. I've never seen this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, really, bro. You're right. I've never seen and this. Then, Taz, Taz and Joey Styles on Ball <laughs> Liquors of the Year Award that Dude, year. Dude, it's crazy. 2006. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll, I'm will i going to go back. Boys, we got to go back in time and give them that award. Yeah, uh, are we will some, with the time machine. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's also a guy. I, I just wanted to tell the story because I, I, I don't know if I'll ever get to talk about it. Uh, there's a guy behind Taz holding a Jack's Classic Taz figure. It was a ringside exclusive, uh, ringside collectibles exclusive. And 06? <laughs> ringside collectibles exclusive? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wow. ECW Taz. Uh, so the story about this, I think the version this guy had was the right one. And by right one, I mean there was an original one that had the Taz towel, uh, except it was wrapped around his waist. So it made Taz look like he just had a big dress on. And Taz was super fucking pissed about this. Where the just <laughs> it was singlet and towel was, wrapped around his waist, Valvina towel. style. Okay. Yes, <laughs> so it looked like he had a big, like just like a fucking moo on. Wow. And Taz, Taz was pissed about this. It looks like he like headbangers. I'm pretty sure he can. Conf- it does look like that. Right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he confronted ringside like owner about this, and they had the figure remade. They couldn't like I don't know. Show it to them before they made it. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Well, it just, you know, it came from the factory and they're like, ah, oh, whatever. Taz wouldn't be upset about the towel around his waist, of course, even though he never wore it this way. I don't know if you knew this, but Taz is upset about a lot of things all the time. <laughs> 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 so Kelly is going to show us all of her assets. Uh, and then it yes. pans outside the arena to show us the arena sign. <laughs> and then it pans a little bit back a little more. There he is. Kevin, fucking vampire. Kevin Thorne. <laughs> there fucking he is. Fucking vampire is here with a, his vampire teeth and his crazy ass beard. So Taz and Joey Styles know immediately this man is a real vampire. Yes, and they're this trying to convince. Be. They're, yes, they're trying to convince themselves they, they did. I didn't just see that. That's, that I didn't a, see that. Can't be. That was a real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yo, yeah, what? Dude, <laughs> you just saw a zombie in the ring, and you're fucking surprised there's a fucking vampire stalking outside the thing? Yeah, they show the used to be sold out sign or whatever, and uh, Kevin Thorne is there, and he goes, Sss, with his fucking vampire teeth, and Taz no, it can, no, it's not a vampire. Not to be. No. Uh, we have Kelly, and uh, Kelly comes out for the first exhibitionist display. It's just Kelly, yeah. So she's not, I don't know when she becomes Kelly Kelly, uh, but it is not here. She's just Kelly. One name... And she's in a bra and uh, skirt. Yeah, so she comes out here. Um, the she comes out here to show her ass and titties. Um, yeah, she does a little dance. Historically, I don't know if she ever learned how to dance or did he. No, you know, I think I think that's why she was put with Extreme Expose because they would hope she would learn not to learn how to wrestle, learn to how learn dance. how to dance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she goes. She takes off her panties or takes off her pant or skirt. Holy shit! It, yeah. Well, she was supposed to. That's what she said. She, she was her gonna pussy. Do. She said she was going to do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're right. What the fuck? Yeah, well, she did. <laughs> so, sci fi's got some problems with that. So, she shows yeah. she has some trouble uh, getting off her bra, which <laughs> I hear you. She pretty funny. <laughs> That's true. I hear you. It's tough uh, to get that bra off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All the kids in the crowd are having a great time. Kelly's dancing and taking her shirt off. There was just a vampire outside. No one's really concerned vampire about it. There was a zombie, zombie here earlier. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, Joey and Taz have gone quiet as this is happening. Real somber uh, uh, feeling across the arena. As, <laughs> yeah, no one's making any noise. As Kelly is struggling her whole ass is out. to get her bra off here. She cannot uh, yeah, get she's trying off. to get her bra off. Taz, Taz is going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's what the zombie's doing. So <laughs> she ends up just pushing the bra up and just puts her hands on her titties and says, this is good enough. She's dancing with her titties out, hands over the titties, dancing titties. Uh, and that was it. I thought yeah, she like, just leaves. 
Yeah, there, I thought the Mike Knox thing happens immediately. It doesn't. She just comes out, she gets naked, and then she leaves. Well, this and is nobody storytelling. You understand? Nobody cares. <laughs> we get to Taz, Taz is all, oh, brother. I like the new ECW. It's going to be better than the old one. Uh, Holy she's shit! A, what he says yeah, online, right. well, gonna, you, we're going to get yeah, in the time can, machine right now, man. Okay, great. <laughs> You're getting the ball lick early year award. That's unbelievable. <laughs> that is yeah. the biggest ball lick line of all time. This is better than the original. Oh. Dude, Taz, you probably had, like, there was probably 20 fucking women that were ready to fuck the easy At any time. Room. Yeah, all the time, bro. You were the champion. <laughs> what trying, are you doing I'm now? trying to figure out, you know, I don't know if we were talking about it, but where are all the other ECW women? Like, maybe you just uh, didn't want to sign them? Like what, Francine? Yeah, like Francine. I think Francine Jazz is signed for a minute. Or... Francine is signed. She ain't here. She's not here, but you she should have been not. with Just Incredible, right? That would have been so sweet. You would, well, you know, yeah. Kurt Angle could have fucking <laughs> was Don Marie here. She could have been with Just Incredible. Uh, Don Marie was signed, right? Don Marie might have been released by this point. No. Yeah, Don <laughs> no. Marie might have been pregnant, <laughs> pregnant and fired by this yeah, point. Pregnant, no, right? Wasn't she pregnant? She was pregnant and then got fired. Yeah, she got fired before the. Uh, she before was released this started. while she was pregnant. That's right, which is uh, illegal. By the way, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. Right. <laughs> but they did that. Okay. Yeah, she's so yeah. Francine was signed to WWE. She was on One Night Stand, uh, and then she signed, made her first appearance on house shows, normally competing in bikini contests with Kelly Kelly. Then she was acting as a valet for Balls Mahoney in his feud with Kevin Thorne. Uh, even the odds against him and Ariel. Uh, and then she was gone. Then she comes back in September. Uh, and then she wrestles Ariel in a extreme cat fight, Ariel. and then she was released. Yes, which is Shelly Martinez, of course. Yes, yeah. Uh, and then she's released in October. Well, in July 2009, she signed with Dragon Gate USA as a live event hostess, <laughs> <laughs> which is a crazy. Don Marie, you're talking about? Yeah, Don Marie. I was talking about Francine. Sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah oh, Don okay. Marie. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. No. 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 You're um, good. Just also, by the way, I read that Don Marie uh, settled that case. She sued WWE, of course. Uh, Over that, uh, yeah, for wrongly oh. terminating her contract when she was. Oh, pregnant. I didn't know that. Um, and she says she suffered suffered mental duress uh, as a result, uh, and then the case was settled out of court in 2007. Oh well, there you go. Well, hopefully she got some money out of that. Yeah, WWE always doing this out of court stuff. Huh? Yeah, they it's like time, it's they time like for y'all to get the hammer down on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Stop settling. We're done Stop settling. settling. We're taking a hammer down on your ass. Yeah, Easy dub. Easy dub. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, also, Taz also calls her an expeditionist. <laughs> yeah, he understands. She says she's an expeditious expeditionist. I've never seen anything like that. That's real shit. Yeah, I like this new ECW way better than an old shitty ECW that yeah, I worked The old on. shitty ECW sucked. And, like, the new yeah. one is so lit because we're going to do a battle royale it's main so event. Lit. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of doing Super Crazy and Guido or fucking Tajiri or... We're not going to do any of that. We're not doing Jerry Lynn and RVD. Oh. Yeah, Jerry Lynn RVD sucked, bro. That was, We're not doing any of that yeah. shit, man. Like, what the fuck will we even do that well, for? RVD got laid out. He's only the double world champion. He was laid out and literally just never came back. He just laid out and he's done. The well, he's show. preparing for Monday. What day is it? What, when was this show this on? This is Tuesday. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, <laughs> man, get your ass up. <laughs> aren't, she the, aren't she the representative of the fucking show? No. All right, I hear you. That's the a zombie and the vampire. Extreme. And the alien. Of <laughs> <laughs> and the chef this and the chief. And the Indian chief and this the chef. can't be. <laughs> All Extreme of Battle Royale main event time. Yes. Uh, so we got Tommy Dreamer coming out here first. What is Tommy Dreamer bloody face shirt? Tommy Dreamer booked himself to come out first, just so everybody knows. <laughs> Sabu That's is right. also here. It just took him a minute to come out. Yeah, what was that? You think he was arguing with them? I don't want to fucking do this. He said, do a promo. He said, no, I'm not doing a promo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what do you, I thought we signed Derry Funk. Who's this? <laughs> Who hell is this? Derry Brunk. What the hell? <laughs> this can't be. So... <laughs> Yeah, Sabu's theme song is also an all-time great song. Yeah, great song. Uh, yeah, it. so speaking of Sabu, there's a 
kid holding a Sabu sign I thought I'd bring up here. <laughs> that very, is fucking believable. Very 2006 looking guy right here. <laughs> Looks like you. No, come on now. <laughs> come on now. You, bro. Yeah, you probably right. They've got the gold chain, the red come hair. Come on, man. Now you got your little puka shell necklace. Come on. <laughs> that was awesome, bro. You didn't uh, have the puka shell in 06? I wasn't rocking puka shell necklaces uh, okay. in 06. I, yeah, all my favorite people enough. were, though. Uh, so we have commercial break. We come back. A switchblade has arrived. Uh, Al Snow is here. God fucking damn. <laughs> Who is in the ring, though, James? Uh, oh, yeah. I couldn't believe this. No entrance? No entrance. No. no. Or Amish Roadkill and Danny Doring, <laughs> the ECW Tag Team Champions. The still ECW Tag Team Champions. Never lost the belts. Still to this day. Still ECW yeah, Tag Team Champions. What the fuck? <laughs> no entrance? That's how I, I knew the they... show was in the shitter. Dude, I don't even know if they mention it. I thought the show was fucking lit up until that point. Roadkill and Danny <laughs> Doring. He's like, Tag Team has no entrance? Fuck you, man. So uh, Steve Richards comes out here. They don't do this rumble style because no one would have gotten a pop. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, they just have right. people just come out all I'll the show time. you. You'll see. Yeah, Steve Richards comes out here. And then uh, the weapon, by the way, the weapons are outside the ring for this battle royal. How the fuck does that, that make any sense? sense? Put the fucking weapons <laughs> in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> FBI is here. Uh, of course, FBI is, that, of is course. Uh, a little Guido who was known yes. as Nunzio in the WWE. He's Little uh, Guido here, thankfully. He's known as Nunzio in the WWE. <laughs> I feel like they said every time they mentioned Little Guido on commentary. Yeah, day. you're right. Uh, Tony Mamaluke. Yes. Uh, and of course, Big Guido. <laughs> and Trinity. <laughs> Trinity is uh, beautiful. God yeah, bless Trinity. This, like, this entrance felt like ECW. I was like, oh, yeah. this is dope. Trinity coming through the crowd, fucking looking real sexy. Um, yeah, we know Ma- Mama Luke and goddamn Italians are here, dude. They, I'm surprised they didn't use Smothers or Big Sal, and instead opted for Big Guido. Yeah, I don't. Big Sal, I swear, was on One Night Stand. I mean, Big Guido was in the FBI, but like he was, he was, but no it, one, but rem- it was not. No one remembers him like they remember Big Sal or Tracy. I, that's what I'm saying. I mean, and, Chili Willie, and, dude. And what's crazy? Can you imagine Smothers WB promos? Dude, you, no, they would all I be dare. cut. They would all yeah, be cut from the we show. We wouldn't have seen them. We wouldn't have seen them. Dude, that would have been so sick. But they opted for, uh, of course, uh, Big Guido uh, because Vince McMahon had an option. He said, Smothers, Big Sal, or Big Guido. He said, well, Smothers doesn't have Big in his name, so we're going to go with either Big Sal or Big Guido. <laughs> and he said, let me get a picture of both of them. He said, hey, Big Guido will do. <laughs> He's big. He looks real big. He reminds me of a guy that worked here before. But Big Silva. <laughs> <laughs> no, Vince, that was Giant Silva. Yeah. That's fine, though. Well, we should have named him Big Silva. <laughs> we still can. <laughs> well, there's no time. How about we name this one Big Silva? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, Balls Mahoney is here. He is. Uh, and then, of course, ECW's Big Show. We- Did you know that song was called Crank It Up? I didn't know that. No, yeah, I didn't. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crank It Up. Big Show. Uh, Taz, Taz did not put over Roku and Danny Doring. And for he some reason, loved I, putting him over before he f- came to the whole fucking show to put him over. <laughs> came to the show and spent 10 minutes of TV time on TNN to put him over. You're right. Uh, apparently, he couldn't do that here. He's too busy ball licking Vince McMahon's <laughs> balls. <laughs> uh, everyone immediately goes to the outside to get the weapons. Dude, Big Show throws almost everyone out of the ring through the middle rope. Of course. What are you? No, you've been in six Royal Rumbles. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, everyone is on the outside. Big Show, and of course, Dude. the big man, Amish Road Killer, in the middle Dude. of the ring. And I knew it was going to be catastrophic right here. Big oh show. Oh, my God. Fucking fall away slams roadkill <laughs> who eats shit into the ropes and then falls to the outside of the ring. Dude, <sighs> it looked like he bounced three times before he hit the floor. <laughs> he like, he fall away slams him in the ropes and got it. And falls to the floor. Oh, God damn. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Uh, this was crazy. Big show was, Big show was mean as hell. To these dudes. He was super fucking mean. Super fucking mean to these guys. Crazy shit. Loved it. So you Danny, go fuck up those fucking local bastards. <laughs> <laughs> so Danny Doring and Amish Roadkill are beating the fuck out of Big Show of Weapons. I don't even know if they mentioned Danny Doring by name in this match. Only when he gets eliminated. Oh, you're right. He says Taz goes. Oh, Danny Doring. See you later. Yeah, th- yeah, that's it. <laughs> the only weapons they have, by the way, are a uh, trash can. And many different road signs and cookie sheets. 
Uh, the cookie sheets were always ECW style. Popping, yeah. Love those um, cookie sheets. Al Snow goes to use head, uh, which of course is very over and people would like to see it. Big Show does not allow him to do that and then throws him out instead. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here. Well, that, if that doesn't uh, encapsulate WWE, ECW, do a T. I don't know what does. True. You're right. And uh, fuck it. I mean, uh, you know, Al Snow, whatever. Taz also said, this is what you get with ECW. Everything is done to the extreme. The wrestling, the aggressiveness, the sexuality. What the? Ah! Yeah. Ah! yeah. <laughs> the vampires, the aliens, you. the chiefs. I hate you. <laughs> yeah. The chiefs and the, sh- and the chefs. The sandwiches. So Danny Doring has been eliminated by the big show, which is very sad. Um, yes. Big Sabu sh- sets up a table the long way outside the ring just to do it. Yeah, this was just his spot now. It said this is cool. Yeah. Do it again. Uh, yeah. Big Show throws Stevie Richards out too, which is very sad. Uh, Big Show then eliminates Amish Roadkill with one hand, which is very sad. It's not. It's even worse than you're saying, James. He just uh, Roadkill like hits him with something. He might have hit him with a cookie sheet, and then Big Show just one hand grabs him by his shirt and throws him over like he's a piece <laughs> of shit. Very sad. <laughs> Which he uh, is. Balls Mahoney <laughs> just absolutely refuses to jump for the money clip slam. This is he insane. Does not at all. He doesn't know what this he move is. is. Ne- Maybe he's never jumped before on a move. He just always hits people with a chair. And that's been his run for the past six years. Well, he doesn't know how to bump. But Taz is trying to put it over. He said, we saw this move at one night stand. Or maybe we didn't, brother. I don't know. What is this? <laughs> I wrote, Big Show attempts his Cobra clutch slam on balls. It goes as well as you think onto a trash can. <laughs> and then Big Show throws him out. So Sabu jumps off a dreamer's back, uh, Hardy Boy style, and Big Show yes. grabs him in the corner, tosses him over, but he lands on the apron, does not get eliminated. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Big Show then tosses Tommy Dreamer out of the ring through a table, big style, gorilla press Fucking slam. Press, yes, press slams him over the top through a table, he dies. Taz, for some reason, in a very sexy way, says Dreamer was eliminated <laughs> in a very extreme way. I said, what the fuck <laughs> is going on? The sexuality what? of ECW coming out. <laughs> The aggressiveness of the sexual alien. So, <laughs> Big Show then stack and fucks the FBI oh as my God. Taz puts it like two crushed peppers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glug, glug, glug. Big Guido. <laughs> Human fuck machine. Dude, Big Guido and Big Show have Our a face. St- it's a stare down. Stare down. The battle royale stare down with the dudes with the big in their name. Yeah, it's a big moment after he fucking kills the FBI. He choke slams Guido onto Mama Luke as well. By the way, throws them both over like like two crushed shit. peppers. <laughs> <laughs> then they do a punch exchange yeah, with they, Big Guido. This is what and Big Show. They're really looking forward to this one. Um, of course, they do. They uh, they take a little bit of this match and they put it into the Royal Rumble this year, where we saw uh, Tamina <laughs> go head to head with Nia Jax. <laughs> Very similar. <laughs> Very similar to Big Guido and Big Show. Yeah, uh, of course. Big Show then uh, eliminates Big Guido, uh, but as he does so, Big Guido holds on to Big Show's hand as he tries to eliminate him with him. Um, Sabu then takes as much time as humanly possible. Set the chair up, <laughs> point to the sky, look at the crowd. Does this whole shit? Yeah, <laughs> it does. Then jumps in his show with the chair, and it throws Big Show out. Uh, does so- Big Guido pull him out as well? Yeah, or is does. it just yeah, Sabu? Yeah, he's got his hand it. on it. Okay, yeah. I, thought, yeah, I thought so. I, thought, I wasn't sure if that was just him holding him, and then he so, just so Sabu does the rest. Technically, Sabu and Big Guido eliminated Big Show. Win. Correct. Um, and of course, this means that Sabu will now face John Cena as the winner of the Extreme Battle Royale gets to face John Cena. A vengeance and Big Show on the outside with boogers is unhappy. <laughs> 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 by the way, just in case you were wondering, that is not only Big Guido's last match in ECW, but seemingly his last match ever. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> he doesn't it wrestle again. Top, so. yeah. <laughs> that was his career moment. Yeah, Big Show with boogers not happy. Sabu happy doing all his taunts. He's going to face John Cena in vengeance. Uh, they show a shot of all the weapons on the floor outside. Sabu is celebrating while Taz and Joey Styles run down. Wa- hype up you watching Raw. Dude. <laughs> and Taz That's looks at the camera and says, down. hey, Raw, wa- Raw, watch your back. We're coming. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Taz, you're not doing shit. You're not doing shit but sitting there <laughs> on your no fucking way. ass. There's no way. Penguin style. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Dude, all right. So that's it for WWE ECW. But I would like to just encapsulate this. Sure. Uh, they this could have been so much more. Um, also, 
with a runtime of less than an hour without commercials, this was a super simple, easy watch to go through. And it once was again, not hard, right? Once again, reiterate that an hour wrestling show is probably the move for almost everybody. Ever. I love it. It is the perfect time. Maybe even if you could get it to like one hour straight runtime with like 20 minutes commercial. So if you record yeah. like one hour and 20 minutes and you put 20 minutes of commercials right. in, it was yeah, one hour. Yeah, yeah. You, this is this is it. This is wrestling. That's all. I mean, it, generally, like, it's a good run time. And I think, uh, you know, like I said, this is an easy watch, even though, you know, we tore it apart and it, it was. Yeah. Even a bullshit show is a lot easier to consume in that amount of time. Yeah, right. 100%. Because, um, you know, I, I can't be upset about 45 minutes. You know, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, really. I, I mean, really. I mean, and we got to see the zombie. When, by the way. Why didn't you bring him back? What was the deal with that? Yeah, really, I think history should look back more fun. I feel like a lot of people shit on the zombie when really, in hindsight, that was probably the best thing they fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I bet the zombie came in, probably did his promo, got his pictures done, fucking probably did the B-roll he needed to do, <laughs> did his match, did his promo. Uh, probably was good. You know what I mean? What else can you ask for? This guy's probably a nice guy. rocking. Hollywood rock intro. I mean, what else yeah. can you really ask for? He didn't bring him back? <laughs> This yeah, is why on, the business guys. is in the shape it is, man. You gotta treat yeah. these guys with respect. You don't you don't get many people like the zombie, all right? And you treat them right. Well, I also think uh shortly after this, obviously, as I said, you know, uh it was supposed to it was Dreamer, Ed Kosky, and uh Heyman uh running things. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure I'm I, I believe Dreamer is out very quickly after this, uh, and Dave Lagana is uh put in there or no, maybe it's yeah, no, Lagana is full-time ECW after the first episode, so I think uh, Dreamer is very quickly after that gone. Uh, and so Dave Lagana is, is in charge of things going forward. I don't really remember much that Dave Lagana did. I just know the name. I Yeah, right. I know Dave, too. Um, um, and then obviously by December, this is June, by December, Paul Heyman is not only out of that, but he's out of the company. He's fucking gone. <laughs> he's gone entirely. He said be December to dismember happens, uh, yeah. which is the one and only WWE ECW pay-per-view, I believe, standalone style. Uh, we've watched that on our Patreon. You can check it out, patreon.com slash deadlockpw. We did a watch along of that, and it is every bit as, as fucking bullshit as you can imagine, That bro. was like the last time brutal. they... Right? You said Heyman left. That was when he left, right? Was that pay-per-view? Heyman is done after this pay-per-view. Yeah, he yeah. was like, fuck it, I'm out of here after this pay-per-view. Yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, he's, he's gone. Yeah, uh, let's see what else happened there. Because uh, yeah, that's the extreme elimination chamber where Bobby Lashley wins the title that Heyman was trying to get Punk to win, and Vince said no, <laughs> no, fuck that. Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there you go. That was the first episode of WWE ECW Whew, from June thirteenth, two thousand six, and that what a ride. is our show. That- 